You want to know the setups that'll make you a living trading. I'm going to take you and I'm going to show you the setups that'll make you a living trading in the stock market. And I'm going to take you to the charts today and show you how I do it. I've been doing this for 30 years. And over the 30 years, I've made all the mistakes. I've done all the things that you're still going to do. And I'm going to take all that out of the equation for you and give you a simple system that will show you how you can actually be profitable in the stock market. Because if you're losing, you really want to get ahead and you really want to become that profitable trader. You don't want to lose money anymore. Nobody gets into trading because they want to lose money, but everybody gets into trading because someone told them that they can turn $100 into a million dollars in a day. And that's not true. That cannot happen. It will never happen because it's the same as I don't know what you do for a living at the moment or what you were trained to do or what you wanted to become in your life. But I'm pretty sure that you understood that it wasn't going to take you one day to become that person, that you're pretty sure you understood that you're going to need an education and you're going to need to become qualified in whatever it is you do. But for some other unknown phenomenal reason, people don't see trading as a career. People see trading as a quick way to make money, a quick way to jump in and almost gamble and try and make a success of it. That said, it is risky. Trading is risky and 80% of traders do lose money. So if you don't like risk and you don't like trading, hmm, don't trade. Simple as that, really. But after the charts, I'll take you and I'll show you why I think that trading is a 50-50 game and the concept behind it, the concept of fear and the concept of how you can get around that and improve your trading. In the future videos, I'm also going to take you and show you a few other systems that are out there that you can use to your advantage. But I always advocate that you mustn't put too many indicators on your chart and you mustn't confuse yourself. Stick to a simple, easy, basic system. And that's what I'm here to show you today. I'm also here to tell you guys that it's not the system that makes you money. It's not the little candles that make you money. It's actually your psychology, your mind, and the way you approach your trading or the way you approach your business. It's all about you. If you lose at trading, it's all about how you approached it at the end of the day. You can take two traders, give them exactly the same system, and guess what? One will win and one will lose. Why is that, you think? Why is that? Why will one person win and the other person lose? It's because trading's a 50-50 game, and it's because it's the mind that makes you win or lose when you're playing the game. You have to learn to get around that. You have to learn to trade. You have to learn to get over your fear. But that's what I'm here for. I'm here to show you how to do it. I'm here to give you the reality of trading, and I'm here to also tell you guys that you're not going to turn $100 into a million dollars. It doesn't work like that. This is the long game. This is hard work and trading is not as easy as they told you it is. It's actually quite a difficult game. The system is as easy as hell. Guys, I'm going to show you a system. You're going to say, I can do that. That's so easy. But it's the way you approach the system that makes it really difficult. Without further ado, let me take you to the charts. Let me show you the system. Let's go through the system and then thereafter we can talk about why it's a 50 50 game and why it's all in the mind let's go to the charts guys so you want to know the setups that will make you a living trading the way to make a profit you know sometimes the simplest things on earth will be the most profitable and the easiest to make you money in the stock market for example trend lines if your trade or your price is in a trend and you've got a trend resistance and you've got a trend support, there's a very good chance that you can make money off that trend resistance and trend support. So if you follow trends and you run with those trends, you're almost almost guaranteed you're in, in such the right place to actually make money in the markets, whether it be commodities, whether it be an indice, whether it be a, for example, currency, doesn't really matter. What you just got to look out for is, for example, first, Firstly, what we do, we look for the support and resistance, and we take the support and resistance off the daily time frame, the higher time frame. In other words, if you're trading on the five minute, 
go to the hour or something like that and get it there. We're trading on the four hour or the hour. So we take our levels from the daily time frame. But how do we get our levels off the daily time frame? What we'll do, we'll take it to a line chart. And the reason we take it to a line chart is so we can pick up the closing prices rather than the highs and lows of the day because they're not going to help you. So here's some closing prices. There's a closing price. There's a closing price. You see it's hit the support a number of times. Here it broke through, but that, that's fine. That's fine. If you want to take your, your support down to a lower level, you can, but you don't need to because there is a level here that you can use. Also on the top here, you've got your resistance, which is embedded into the system. Now on this particular trade, we are short. And by the time you get this trade, it will be over because as you know, I've made pre-made this video. This is not one of the lives. Do come and join me for the live trades on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays, we do the Euro session. Thursdays, we do the US session. Feel free to come and join us for that. Now, the big thing here, guys, is here you've got a trend that was going down. It did break through that trend and I was actually short at this level and I had to stop out. Then it went long up to the main resistance and we got in short again and now it's going in the correct direction. The point is, how do you make money? How do you make a living out of trading? Not from a system like this, guys. You make a living out of this by managing your risk. When you take this trade at this level here of around 83, 340 or I think I was at yeah 8340 that's where the, the level was and we decided at this level we're going to take a short trade so we're in the trade right where do we what do we do to make money what we do is we say we're going to risk two hundred dollars on this trade so the amount that we trade is based on how much we're going to risk but we can't let the risk decide where the stop loss is going to land because that could be here could be here or it could be here so what we do is we decide where our stop loss is going to be and and our stop loss is going to be at 84.40. That's our stop loss because it's above the last high and it's pretty clear away from any orders or money that might be lying around waiting to be taken out. So you've put your stop loss here. That distance between there and there is $200. Now you determine how many contracts you can have for that $200 and then you take that amount of contracts in your trade with a view to making a profit down here at the 81 level, which is a much higher profit level is more there's there's less risk and more reward on this trade it's not 50-50 here. So you've got a smaller amount of loss to take and a bigger amount of win to get. And the reason we do this to make money in the stock market is pretty simple. And it's because, as I told you, trading is 50-50. In other words, if I take this trade, it's got a chance of going long or it's got a chance of going short. And it's a 50-50 chance. A lot of people will disagree with me when I say it. It is what it is. When you take a trade, no matter what system you play, it's all about how you approach the system and how you approach your risk because two people can trade on this exact same system and one will be profitable and one will not. And it's as simple as managing that risk. Every single trade you take must have the same amount of dollar risk, not points, dollar risk. In other words, you are risking the $200 per trade, no matter what the trade, whether it's the FTSE, whether it's the US 500, whether it's the Euro US dollar, whether it's the US dollar ZAR, whether it's the Australian dollar, US dollar, whether it's gold, it doesn't matter. You are taking a $200 risk when you take the trade. So for example, this gold trade here, which we haven't taken yet, we're waiting for the price to come down into this fair value gap area. There is a video on fair value gaps that I made last Wednesday. You can go back and have a look at it and it will show you all about that. When the price comes back into here, we intend to take a long trade, which will go long. Now you will say to me, but you've got the edge because you know that there's a gap here. You know, there's a resistance here. You know, there's a trend here. The chances of this trade winning should be 70, 30 at least. But no, no matter how good your system is, no matter how clever you think you are, no matter how clever the system is, your chances when you take this trade are 55. 50. There's a 50% chance it goes long. There's a 50% chance that it goes short. But you've made a calculated decision based on previous history, based on levels, based on resistances that have been hit, based on areas where money might be taken or orders might be waiting because 
you see these candles as people, not as candles. I see them as traders behind the candles and what might be happening. So I'm making a calculated decision that this is going to go long from that level. So I'm going to put my stop loss down here, probably beyond those lows because it could come down and there could be more orders waiting there. So I see that as people have got orders waiting there because there has money been moving around there. And every time it reaches that level, it bounces up. So I'm just going to take my stop loss, put it a little bit below that, which will be at 24.95. And then I'm going to decide how how much that 200 how much that is in 200 dollar form and then i'm going to trade that amount with a long trade in mind what's my target in this case the first target will be about 26 and the second target will be the moon because this is going straight up if it doesn't work out it's going to come down and it's going to take my stop loss out at 200 dollars. The, the the trick here guys to making a living out of trading is to wait for the trades to come to you and also not to be greedy on the trading when you see a good trade and you see a media trade don't take two different size trades every single trade you take must have the same dollar loss stop stop loss level in other words trade invalidation level a level where you say that's it i've lost the money it's out of here it doesn't have to be exactly 200 it could be 250 220 190 whatever the case but in that range the reason i say that is because if you win five trades and you make 400 dollars on those five trades that you win and you lose five trades and all five of them only lose around $200, you should have made a profit. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day. It's about making a profit because I hate to break the news to you. And that is you're not going to win every single trade, no matter how fantastic or brilliant you think your system is. So what I'm going to do, we're going to have another video over the weekend, which will go over the markets for the week. And also I'm going to have another video on Monday, which I think will show you the moving average crossover, because I believe you guys need to know the other systems as well, because I, I really need you to understand that it, it really doesn't matter what system you actually use, but rather how you use the system. And the reason I like to use support and resistance you can use Fibonacci as well because it's got nice lines trend lines that sort of thing it's simply because you are able to manage your risk quite easily with this type of system there are three ways to trade in the market one is to trade with a trend follow the market structure and trade with a trend and just keep on following it up or down the other way is to see a price that has really at the end of the day in your opinion reached its limit. It looks pretty much like it's overbought. You don't need an RSI for that. You can just look at the chart and say, hey, this has been going long for a long time and it's reached its all time high. Maybe it's created a double top scenario and then you can trade in the opposite direction. But what you do with that sort of trade is you wait for it to break structure. So there's the structure going up, breaks that structure over there. Then you know it's short and you can go the other direction. Wait for it just to break the structure Then you know the direction has changed. And then the the third way to trade is in a range. If it's staying in a range, it's staying in that range, there's your highs, there's your lows, and you trade between those because it's staying in that straight line in that range going up and down. So you trade when it gets high, trade when it gets down. Just be careful of that because that does end. For example, if you're in a flag pattern of some sort, it will at some stage jump out of it. This is more of a pennant, but here as well, it'll come down and then it'll jump out. And normally this will resolve to the upside. Same as this was in a, in a pattern, and then it was in a flag pattern actually and it resolved to the upside when it broke out. So that you've got to watch out for. But when you're trading in a range, that's basically my third way of trading. So my first way of trading, just to recap on that, trade with the trend, trade with the structure. My second way of trading, look at when it's overbought and it's and it's run out of steam like this, for example, it's run out of steam. So you're thinking of counter trading it. I won't counter trade this because it is just too strong. I know it's bullish. But what you can do in a scenario like this is wait for it to get down, correct a little bit and carry on and take the long with the trend. And then obviously trading in a range. When it's in a range, you can trade the highs and you can trade the lows of the range. And that's how you make a living in the stock market. But by simply managing your risk and making sure your risk isn't over the top. So there you go. You've seen the charts. You've seen the simple system, which I've shown over and over again in all my videos. The guys that subscribe to the channel, the guys that have been here a while, the members, they all know me and they all know what my system is. And they all know that I'm not going to deviate from that system. I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to move on because changing your system every five minutes is going to turn you into a loser as well, because you're going to overcomplicate things. Do you know that if you know all the systems on the market, now believe me, over the 30 years that I've 
been trading, I've learned a hell of a lot of systems on the market. I like to know what everybody else is doing and I like to know what systems are out there because you know what? I might stumble across something that actually makes you money. But at the end of the day, you look at these systems, you understand them, but if you apply them all, if you try and apply them all into your trading, and it's a terrible thing that your brain does to you because no matter how, you, how much you try to avoid it, you start to see the pictures in your mind. And while you're trading your normal basic system, for example, you're trading on support and resistance, you're in a trend, you see a buy and you think, I'm going to go and buy that. But you know, there's an opposing view to every single trade because there's buyers and sellers in the market. And the market is 50-50 because of that. Because there's a buyer who believes he's got the right choice and there's a seller who believes he's got the right choice. And both of you believe you're right in the market. Both of you believe you've got the edge. So what actually happens is there's opposing information coming into your head in the market. So what actually happens now is you understand, for example, the moving average crossover. You understand RSI. You understand MACD. You understand Fibonacci. I'm just, I can't go through all of them. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of systems and indicators. But you trade support and resistance. You, you're trading market structure or price action. And you see a trade and you say, I'm going to go along now. I'm going to take this trade. But in your mind, because you know all these other systems, you see something telling you, but wait a minute, that could also go short. That could also, because of that, it could actually not be a trade. It stops you from trading. You end up with brain freeze. You end up uh, trading freeze. You're unable to trade. You're unable to take the trades because you keep getting stopped in your mind, in your psychology by other information that you don't really need or want in your system. Be careful of that because it can give you mental block and it can really hurt your trading so stick to the system that you know and trade with that system and don't worry about all the other rubbish you know what you also find for example is you've got a system that you trade to you trade to that system and that system now works for you but Tom over there he's got a different system and when you start to take a trade and he sees you taking the trade he says no nah, wait a minute don't do that because of x y and z and he's doing something completely different but that's how the stock market works he's got his point of view you've got your point of view if you're going to trade with someone try and trade along the same flow try and trade with the same understanding but you're taking the same sort of trades because if you're going to clash heads it isn't going to work no two traders will have exactly the same trade no two traders will agree every single time because the market is 50 50 based on that and don't confuse this because a lot of people argue with me and get upset with me because i say the market's a 50 50 game but rob you cheat me as a system it should have an edge surely it should give you seven out of ten trades wins and i get that i do get that and I, and I obviously understand that because that's what you want to hear you want to hear that you can turn a hundred dollars into a million dollars you want to hear there's a magic system on the market that can make you money but there isn't i'm trying to tell you there isn't and i'm also trying to point out to you that yes the system that i'm showing you can win you nine trades out of ten it can win you eight trades out of ten it can win you five trades out of ten it's a system it's an edge and it does give you a calculated risk but it's not the system that makes you money or loses you money it's you it's you and it's me if i trade and i lose my fault not the system's fault the system's there to give you that edge the system Systems there to give you that calculated risk. Now you have to approach it correctly. You have to use the right mentality so that you can succeed. And the mentality is this. Understand that whenever you take a trade, whether you use that system or not, whether you just use a line and you don't know anything about trading and you say, should I buy or sell today? Hmm, let me think. I'll buy. And it goes long and it goes in your favor or it goes against you. It that's how the market works. It's 50-50. You've got a 50% chance of winning. And I'll tell you why. The market does two things. The market goes up or the market goes down. It doesn't just go up. It either goes up or it goes down. And when you take a trade, it, you are just another human being in there that's taken a trade like all the others. And it's either going to go up for you or it's going to go down for you. It's not going to say, oh, Rob's got a great system. He's obviously going to win here. So we're going to do the trade in his favor. No, it doesn't work that way. That's not how trading works. So the way to win in the market is to get over your fear and to get through this trading emotionally let's say yes you need gut feel to trade you see a trade going a certain way you know it's going to go that way because you've seen it a million times so you take a trade based on that i had someone say to me the other day something about one of my systems and 
I didn't follow the rules to the T or whatever the case. And yeah, that's because I've been doing this for 30 years and I look at something and it looks like that and it's just a gut feel on it and I take the trade. Simple as that. For a newbie, yeah, follow the rules. To the, you need to follow those little system rules and whatnot. But for me, I can look at a chart and say, well, it's done that before, I'll probably do that again. I've seen that pattern a million times. So it's just in your subconscious, you know that. But it's not the system that's making you money. It's how you've managed your risk. So you've got to put your risk the same for all your trades on that particular platform that you're trading on and say, all my risk on those trades is going to be a thousand dollars and I'm only going to lose a thousand dollars on those trades and that's it. Okay. But every time I win, I've got to make more than two thousand dollars at least. And sometimes, sometimes you'll take a trade and let's say you've got a thousand dollars risk on it because all your trades have got a thousand dollars risk. I don't know what your risk factor is. Maybe it's two hundred dollars. Maybe it's five hundred dollars. Maybe it's fifty dollars. You choose. Trade within your means trade with what your heart feels comfortable with don't trade with something that's going to give you sleepless nights because when you take a trade that's what you've paid for the trade you've paid that amount of money for that trade there's no way around that you've paid that amount of money for the trade and the only time that that goes away is when you move your stop loss up behind the profit level and you break even or you're in positive so guys when you take a trade, the amount of money you can afford, the amount of money you feel comfortable with is what you should be taking that trade with. Now, you've got to switch the fear off. You see, you've got to understand that you've paid the thousand dollars for the trade and that money is now out the bank account and gone. Now you take the fear out of the trade. It's a bit like trading a demo account. You've taken the fear out of the trade. The thousand dollars doesn't matter anymore. It always matters, but it doesn't matter anymore. Okay. So now, now you're just looking to see what happens with that trade. Now, the basis of the way I trade is I don't trade on five minute charts anymore. I don't try and beat the market or whatever the case. I take a four hour chart. I put a trade in. Okay, that's my stop loss. I know how much I paid for the trade. And that's where I want to be on, on target. You all know we've all got it. We've all got the phone. We're always checking our trades and whatnot and going back and seeing where we are. So we'll do that anyway. Then walk away. Leave it. It either plays out or it doesn't play out. Really simple, really. The ones that don't play out are going to cost you a thousand dollars. And the ones that do play out are going to make you a couple of thousand dollars and we all hope that it's a 50 50 game five of them will win and five of them will lose and we lose five thousand we make ten thousand that gives me a five thousand dollar profit not bad not bad i'll take that trade every single day that's how we make a living in the stock market by understanding that for every 10 trades you take you will lose five and for every 10 trades you take you will win five but on the five that you win you make more than on the five that you lose. On some trades, when you're in a winning position, you're going to look at it and say, wait a minute, this is not going to go the way I expected it to. It's not going to make me the extra money. And it's only $800 in profit. And I've got a $1,000 stop loss, stop loss on this. What do I do? <laughs> Break the rules, dude. It's simple. Break the damn rules. Why do you have to stick so rigidly to these rules? Either take the profit or move your stop loss up to $500 in profit. And if it takes it out, so what? You made $500. Bully for you. Welcome to the club. Why do you have to say, well, I've got this rule in place that says I must make $2,000 on every single trade. I can't trade out of this. I must hold it. Even though you're looking at the chart, you're literally looking at the trade and saying, this trade's going to fail. I'm looking at it that the trade's invalid. It's not going to work anymore. But I took the trade, so it must work. It must work. Why? Why? You know, and and you you follow those rules to the T, and it and it goes down into a loss, and you take a loss. Why would you do that? So, guys, gut feel. Gut feel is so important, and that's where experience comes into play. Experience comes into play. You don't have to follow the rules like it's some kind of dictatorship or something like that. This is a democracy. You can do what you want. You can break the rules if you need to. If you see from your side that this is not working out, get out. Same with the stop loss. You don't have to wait for it to take the thousand dollars up. If that's your stop loss on every trade or $200 or whatever it might be. If you see it go into invalidation, if you look at the trade and you say, you know what? I'm only $500 down, even though I've got a thousand dollar stop loss. I'm $500 down or I'm $200 down, but this trade doesn't look good anymore. It looks invalid. It's been messing around here and it doesn't look like it's going to work. Dump it, guys. Dump it. Dump it. Break the rule. Dump it. Lose less. Lose as little as you possibly can because effectively it's a losing trade, but you haven't even lost the $1,000. You've only lost the 200 which will put you well in profit on all your other trades. Follow the profitable trades. Don't follow the losing trades. Guys, free gift. Go down, get your free Forex book in the description. It's there for you. It's totally free. It's a PDF. Go and download it. Go and have a bit of fun with it. I'm not asking anything for it. Don't forget, I've got trade of 
of the day, every single day, I put a trade of the day out on the little blog. Go down there, grab your trade of the day. It's there for you also, totally free. It's just a trading idea. It's not trading advice. It's so you can balance out what you think is good and what you think is not good. And then also for the members who join on the YouTube membership, uh, I put a video out every day if I can. And I also give you a list of what I think is going to happen on the market. So if you're interested in that, join that as well. Join us and, and get the little benefits from being part of the little membership on the club or what have you. We're building a community here. We're building a community of traders here so that we can become successful traders in the future so that you can all make money and become profitable in the stock market. Guys, come back for the weekend video. Where I'm going to go over the, the whole week's uh, uh, trades and what went up and what went down and what's going to happen next week. It's, uh, it's always important to know these things. I see a lot of people actually don't really come and watch that video on the weekend. Maybe it's not that important or you just don't really want to know what's going to happen next week. I don't know, but I'm still putting it out for those who are interested. It, it sometimes helps. And then we've got the Monday video and then we've got the Tuesday live again. So guys, thanks for watching don't forget to watch the last videos don't forget to come back for those cheers thanks and bye